Hi YouTube, it's Jen and I'm here to do my 10 week weigh in. I um, weighed myself this morning and I lost a pound, crazily enough, because I was sure after the watermelon mojitos on um, Memorial Day that <laughs> probably wasn't going to happen, but I must have done great the rest of the week because I still lost a pound um, this week. I did start tracking my calories and my protein again. I'd stopped doing that and I'm finding I really need to do that to stay on top of my weight loss. So I just keep it really informal. I've got a little thing and I have the day's date and a little C column and a P column and I just put the numbers under it as I eat calories and protein and then just kind of add it up along the way so I know where I am. Nothing formal. Um, so that is um, how I did with weight wise. Um, had a little accident this week and I was mowing the grass in my flip flops and turned off the mower and went around to go get the bag and stubbed my pinky toe on the mower and broke my toe. So yes, I've learned my lesson, never to mow the grass. <laughs> I figured that's a pretty good lesson, right? And um, <laughs> um, I have, let me show you, it's poor so sad. Look down here, look. Yes, there's my little, my little toes in there. My little pinky toe is broken. Um, so I'm in this boot thing for, um, I'm in the boot thing for like four weeks and then I'm not supposed to really do any exercise for like six weeks. And then he still thinks I should just keep it to swimming and cycling and really not do any running or jogging or anything on it. He says walking a little bit, but just to take it easy on it for a few months. So, hmm, so that's where I am with my toe. Apparently it's like one of these, I don't know, it's broken all the way through and a little I'm even getting into it. It was pretty nasty. It was nasty. My toe was bending in ways it's not supposed to bend. So, so here I am now, stuck at home, sitting. I'm gonna. Um, I don't even know. I'm gonna try to do something. Do some arm workout or something. Get some weight. So I'm at least working out my arms and do some, you know, torso and some stretching and and just some kind of crunches and stuff like that. I'm gonna do what I can that doesn't involve my foot. And I might actually contact. Um, cute trainer Josh and see if he has any recommendations of stuff that I should do or look online things that I can do like sitting exercises um, things that don't use your feet so that's where I am um, otherwise everything's going great I have a fill tomorrow I'm really excited about it this time frame from getting banded to restriction is much harder than I thought and in the beginning when you have surgery you're not hungry weight is coming off pretty quickly um, you're motivated and excited, so it's okay to eat 12 ounces of food in one day and 500 calories. Like, you can just kind of suffer through because you're so excited. Well, after, you know, 10 weeks, it kind of wears on you, and I'm ready for some help from this tool. Um, I didn't have a lot of expectations of myself during this period until I got restriction just because I didn't want to set myself up for failure. It's hard. I mean, I'm pretty much just myself. All the weight I've lost so far has been me choosing to eat what I should and eat the small amounts and um, so I'm um, looking forward to some help. So hopefully with my fill tomorrow I will have a, some restriction to help me out in this journey but otherwise I'm doing great. You know I'm still losing. Um, however small it may be each week it is a loss and it is a part of me that will be gone forever and I just need to focus on what I've done so far. Um, I'm down from 266 to 232.4, so that's huge. That's the most weight I've ever lost at one time, um, and I need to focus on that instead of beating myself up for, you know, whatever, because that's the old me, and the new me is positive and excited and just, you know, if it takes three years to get where I want to be, at least I'll be there in three years as opposed to... 50 pounds heavier in three years, which was probably going to be the alternative if I continued the lifestyle that I was living. So um, I'm, I'm sorry I won't be doing the C to 5K with you all. Um, I'll still work on the last couple weeks. Oh, I did a podcast for week seven for anybody who's interested. A lot of people have been downloading them. I'm downloading them. I'm shocked. It's so, it's so exciting for me to think that I'm helping anybody to do this. Um, I'm gonna ignore the phone, so just you ignore it too. Otherwise, it's gonna drive me crazy. Yeah. Um, and then I'll I'll do the um, uh, podcast. I'll make one for weeks eight and nine as well. And then that's it. So hopefully everybody is doing great. Um, uh, I'm not much more to report. This is gonna be a short video. I will talk to you all later. Oh, oh, oh I did buy some more clothes. This is just a real quick thing. I did buy go to buy some clothes and. Um, 
I have stacks and stacks of clothes to donate or get rid of or whatever I'm going to do with them um, from size 20, all my size 20s up to, I have 22, 24, and then I've got some 2X and 3X shirts. Gosh, sorry. Oh, my doctor's reminding me of my appointment tomorrow on my answering machine. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so I'm going to... Um, figure out what to do with those clothes and then I but I did buy some new clothes I bought um, three shirts that are extra large so they're regular size shirts you know they would be in like a normal normal people store and then size 18 as the pants I've been wearing are all 18 so um, I am definitely moving on down the um, the size um, charts so that's exciting and that's even more exciting to me than the pounds lost because that is that's just definite something I can see and touch and feel and I'm reminded every day as I put on my clothes that I'm smaller than I used to be. I did keep one pair of pants, my my biggest pair of pants for them later. I love seeing everybody compare their size. Uh, Kellawanda just did a great uh, video comparing her her pants, her pants that she started with to the pants she's in now. Unbelievable. For those of you who want to go see it's Kellawanda, K-E-L-L-A-W-A-N-D-A. -L -L -A -A. Great video. So I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. Bye.